Hi guys, Dan Cooper here from Pro Tools Expert, and I've got myself a copy of Blue Cat Audio's new MB7 Mixer plugin. This is version 3. Now the MB7 is a very powerful plugin. It allows us to host AU and VST plugins in Pro Tools, but we get to use it in a slightly different way than it just being a rigid plugin host application. This kind of works like multi-band compression, as you can see at the top of this EQ display. We've got four bands we can work with, and on each of these bands we can load up to two plugins. As I said, may they be VST or AU. But this isn't just a four bands plugin. No, no, we can extend this up to seven or put it down to one or anything in between. So we've got seven there. So let me just play you a drum loop and you can get an idea of what this thing can do. So we can use this like a sort of all but a conventional EQ. Very, very simple there. Again, we can adjust the volume of that band down here. I can adjust the pan so I can pan the top end to the left, to the right. All very simple. We can group these bands. So let's go for the very bottom end and the very top end. Give our mix a smiley face or a sad face. But as I said at the beginning, really the party piece of this is being able to host VST and audio unit plugins. And we can load up to two for each band. And you can see I've already loaded a couple in, but I haven't enabled them. Let's look right down the low ends. And I have got Nimbus by Exponential Audio on this one here. So let's give that a little play and hear what it's doing. Straight away. You can hear that. It's sort of just doing a reverby thing. Of course, it's Nimbus. Bypass it, put it back in. So let's throw a few more plugins on this and uh, hear what it can do. So I've got a transient designer here. Let's load that up. This is by Boz Digital, the transgressor. Let's move across and load up saturation knob. Sort of work in the snare, giving us some grit. And for the very, very top ends, I've got Fab Filter Pro C2. Let's hear the results of all these things put together. Maybe that top end could be spread out a little bit more. If we needed to check things in mono, we can do that very easily here. Brilliant plugin. Lots we can do. So what's my final thoughts on the Blue Cat Audio MB7 Mixer version 3? Well, it's a plugin that offers us a different way of working. You know, if you're a fan of multi-band compression, then you've got to check this out because you can use different compressors in the bands. You could use something like a LA-2A style compressor in the mid bands and something like a FET compressor right down the bottom ends. The possibilities really are endless and you're only limited by your own imagination. It's just one of those things you've got to play with and find ways that you can work best with it. Anyway, let us know your thoughts on the MB7 Mixer version 3 in the comments below. I've been Dan from Pro Tools Expert and I'll catch you next time.